All right, Tigger, thanks for coming into this live stream. Uh, lots of new, exciting stuff happening. In this live stream, we're just going to look at basically a very easy uh, funk pattern. Oh, I left my other. Right, I do here. that every time. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're just going to talk a little tiny bit about um, rhythms, and then we're going to jump right into this strum pattern. So. In past uh, videos, and I and I meant to have the page up to go with this, but uh, I don't. Erica, good morning. How are you? Um, so I I wanted to have the material to go up with this, but it didn't. But I, everything is coming together. You're going to see soon. I'm going to give you some links to what's happening with musiclearning.com and the site and everything. But, but for now, we're going to jump in. We're going to learn this little cool funk strum pattern. Um, so in the past lessons, um, we're just going to talk about We've talked about quarter notes, and you can see the quarter notes here on the screen uh, just playing on every beat, right? So if I set my metronome at, let's see, I'll put it at maybe 110 I have. Okay, so there's our metronome at 110, and my quarter notes, I'm just going to play like an A power chord here. So I'm, in, I'm on the fifth fret. And I'm assuming we maybe know our power chords. So I'm just going to go quarter notes every beat. Easy. Then I'm going to double those into eighth notes. So see right below our quarter notes. Now I'm going to go one and two and three and four and. So in between, so I had my quarter notes, eighth notes, I double it. and two and three and four and one and two. Probably gonna need to slow the tempo down because next up, we're gonna move into 16th notes. We're gonna double our eighth notes. So since our eighth notes were one and two and we double that. We're definitely probably gonna to wanna to slow it down for this exercise. How are you this morning, Erica? I'm gonna slow it down to 80 beats per minute. Um, yeah, okay, uh, let's keep, keep rolling here. So here's at 80, I'm going to go back to my quarter notes at 80, on a, I'm on an eighth power chord, eighth notes at 80, I double it, which I could go down up, but I want to go all down because I'm going to go to sixteenths, which will... Pretty good, sleepy. I forget, Erica, where you are from. Um, what time is it there? I'm I'm good. Thanks for asking. For sure, I things have been on a on a, a real roll here. I only have two weeks left at the Roxy, so uh, I've been stepping up my game. And there's actually some new stuff you can see on the site now, uh, and I'm spent. But I'm planning. I do have to play tonight, but I'm planning on spending most of the day uh, today after this live stream. Uh, just busting out all of this new material. Pretty excited about it, really. Um, let's see. So, okay, so we got, we went through our quarter notes, our eighth notes, and our sixteenth notes. Uh, so here's where we're going with this kind of the basis of funk guitar. So funk guitar has a tendency to be a lot of sixteenth note patterns, um, and it tends to use a lot of percussive sounds. So we can create a percussive sound just by oh Oregon yeah same time zone yeah oh worked late eh yeah so oh I don't sound very in tune I swear for the next live stream I'm putting new strings on this okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those 16th notes um, we're gonna release the pressure of our fret hand so that when we hit the strings, we just hear this click. So you know how I'm gonna put the metronome back on here for a moment. We did our quarter notes, our eighth notes, we doubled it. Our sixteenth note, we doubled that. So we're gonna release the pressure. And I have these clicks. So what we're gonna do, as many funk guitar patterns are based on a combination of these clicks and then hearing chords in very 
specific spots to create some syncopation and some really cool rhythms. Kind of the basis of funk guitar, really. So um, when we write those clickies on a, on a page, they're usually written as X's. You can just have one X per chord, or sometimes you'll see three or four X's down the page. It doesn't really matter. We just know that it's a percussive sound, so we don't we don't want to hear the chord. So that what I just played there, one E and a two, remember? We counted quarter notes as one, two, three, four. Eighth notes as one and two and three and four. And then sixteenth notes, we stuck um, a note in between the one and the and. That gave us an E and an a. Uh. One E and A. Uh. Okay, so now I'm just going to pop this up a little bit. We're going to play a chord well, on that first beat, but then we'll have our clickies on the next three sixteenths. So we grab our A power chord again. So I click on the first one, and then I come up for that E, right? Remember we said one E and A. Uh. So chord, release the pressure, click, click, click. One E and A. Uh. One E and A. Uh. We're going to see where we are at 80 here again. You know what? I'm going to slow it. We could do it at 80, but I I'm hoping I want everybody to be successful here. I'm going to bring it back to 60. Remember, the metronome set at 60 is the same as the second hand on your clock. That's 60 beats per minute. So it's like the second hand. Um, so again, I, I just really quickly, some more people coming in to kind of recap what we're doing. We're talking about some kind of cool funk. Guitar lessons were basically headed to towards this. Um... Oh, here's my pick. I'm just using my finger there. I'm going to have to grab my pick because I don't seem to have another one sitting around. Excuse me, one moment. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Okay, so if we're still with me, uh, if you're still with me, we... Um, are doing this funk guitar pattern. We talked about quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes, and now we're talking about taking the four sixteenths in the beat, but playing, keeping the pressure down for the, we're just using an A power chord in the fifth position. I have the pressure down for beat one, but for the next three sixteenth notes, I've released the pressure, so I'm gonna go one E and a, uh. one E and a. Uh. Uh, Erica just said, sounds kind of similar to the Killing in the Name riff, which is kind of cool. And, you know, it kind of actually makes sense, Erica, because the last live stream I did, we ended up, I can't really remember what the live stream was supposed to be about. Oh, drop detuning. And then and then it was suggested we, we do Killing in the Name. And so we ended up learning that riff. And uh, it was a lot of fun. So it makes sense that I maybe, because I'm just kind of picked a, a riff today to so it makes sense probably that I, I, I would maybe would be pulling something from that um, okay so back to our a power chord and our clickies right so we have one e and a and we said that that looked like on the page so there was our four clickies on a beat I'm just trying to barely get it in the front I don't want you to see the whole page because I don't want to be overwhelming with stuff we might because even if you don't read music we can learn to read uh rhythm rhythms it's it's really not that difficult right let me just backtrack for anybody that just came in we basically we talked about quarter notes on every beat right if i put the metronome back on 60 just so i can hold my piece of paper here i'll just play my low e one two three i'm playing on every beat then my eighth notes one and two and three and four and then my 16th notes if you can see them one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a. So that's where we left off. And then since then, since it's a funk lesson, we basically are now doing our clicks, which we said if we block the strings, which I have to put that down so I can block my strings. One E and a two E, right? And then here's where we're at. So hopefully everybody's kind of caught up. Uh, so hi, um, I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. You're asking if I could teach the song Behind Blue Eyes. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll do it uh, today, but I will add it to my list for sure. And the only reason, because I am willing to to veer off left and take um, 
and grab songs to, to do in these live streams. I'm all actually for that. The only reason today that I, 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 can't, don't, I can't really is because this live stream has to be rather short because I have to leave. It's only going to be a half hour live stream today. I know typically I try to do an hour, but today has to be a half hour because I have to leave. Um, but, uh, oh, good news is, though, I finally got the page up for the live streams and the times. So I'll, I'll explain that, and I'll sh show you how to get to that link in a minute, and I'll explain some of the cool stuff happening at musiclearning.com because it's pretty fun. Um, okay, so let's come back on track here. So we had our four sixteenth notes, which are just clicks, right? We said clicks are just written as these Xs instead of the slash. Then we went to um, a chord on beat one and then three clicks on the E and in the uh. So that's our four sixteenth notes, but we're playing, um, right? So that looked like this. We had A power chord. I play the chord. I release the pressure. And then I'm going to go up, down, up. So I have... Alex, hey Alex, nice to see you. I'm I'm good. Uh, you're saying uh, glad uh, this evening. Oh, this evening you're free. Okay, I got you. Um, yeah, the, I know I typically do these live streams about the same time, but they're gonna start switching up. I'm gonna start doing other different, very different times because I realize you know this is global and there's people you know people sleeping right now, so I'm gonna start doing. You know, and you'll see that, and again, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the link here in a minute, but I have a page up now that is going to tell you the live streams each week. And at the beginning of each week, I'll update it for the live streams I'm going to do that week, the topics I'm going to potentially talk about. Again, sometimes we get sidetracked because depending on who's in here and what we want to learn, um, I sometimes I'll just take a turn for whichever way. Uh, David, hey, David, thanks for coming in. Would love to have lessons like this back when I started playing in 1981. I know, David, and it isn't nuts, eh? I think uh, I think about that all the time. Um, I'm 45, and I've, I've been uh, lucky enough to earn my living as a musician basically since I was 19. And uh, uh, yeah, where you know what? I started musiclearn.com in 1999, and I remember I had a student who said, "Oh, can you imagine if like what it would be like if you could have video?" It was hard. It, MP3s weren't even a thing. Uh, no, what year did I say? 1998, I started my musiclearn.com. 99, it became officially, I bought the domain, but I started the site. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm going to try to get back on track. But yeah, Dave, it's crazy, right? It's crazy. And this whole live stream thing, it's bonkers where it's going. Bonkers. And I'm, and I'm really excited, which leads me to some other stuff. Uh, Alex just asked, is it the music learning website? Yeah. So musiclearning.com, it's getting an entirely new face lift. Uh, it's or a look or whatever and it's so cool where it's going I, I'm really excited about it and I'm gonna explain a lot about it at some point uh, for right now it's a little bit of a mess but I had to put stuff up because I felt if I didn't just to keep motion because as some of you in here know my gig of the last six years is coming to an end I have two weeks left um, and that has paid my bills and, and now I'm scrambling to find a way to um, pay my bills without having to go work somewhere I don't want to work, which wouldn't make any sense since I spent my life as a musician. I, I don't really have any plans on changing that up. Uh, but I do want to work more on the site and more on teaching and more of this stuff, uh, more so than I want to play, but I want to play my stuff. Anyway, blah, blah. Okay, I'm, st I'm stopping talking. I can talk forever about that stuff. Let's move on. So here's where we're at. Our four clickies, that was our chord, right? Now here's what we're going to do. We're now going to put the, the chord on the E of the beat. So we still have four sixteenth notes like we did here, but we're gonna click on the one, then the chord, which will be an up, because remember we're going down, up, down, up, right? We're always just going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So I'm gonna go down on a click, up on the chord, down, up, okay? So let's take a look at that. I'm grabbing my A power chord again in fifth. So I'm going down with the chord pressed. I'm releasing the pressure. I don't know if you can see that. But, right, I'm releasing the pressure so that when I hit the strings, I hear nothing. Of course, this time it's going to be an up. So I'm going down, release the pressure, up. Oh, sorry, I did it wrong. It's supposed to be down on a click. Down, up on the chord, click, click, down, up. Sorry. So the first... 
first one we did, we played the chord on beat one. That's a little easier to do, right? Putting the chord on the beat. The second one we did is putting the chord on the E of the beat, on the up. So click first, right? Click, pr apply the pressure for the up, then down up with the click again. Let me put the metronome on here at 60. So again, here's my quarter note. My eighth note, I double. Sixteenth note, I double that. So the first one we did was the new one we did is neat. Uh, you, you might want to leave a rest in between those so the head doesn't start spinning. So I might just want to go right one e and up. Uh, Uh, so how are we doing? Are we doing all right with this information so far? This is actually some really, really important stuff. So all we're doing is we're taking four sixteenth notes and we're experimenting with where we're going to play the chord. We're, we basically, we had four clicks, right? Click, 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 click. And now we're experimenting with putting the chord, so the accent, whatever we want to call it, on one of these four. So we put it on the first one. That was fairly easy and probably makes the most sense. Putting it on the E of the beat, one E and up, that with that which was an up, that's a little trickier. Now we'll put it on on the and of the beat. So we're gonna go click, click, chord, click, one, two, ready, go, click, click, chord, click, one, two, ready, go, click, click, chord, click, two, ready, go. That one's not too bad because it puts the chord on the beat again. So that one kind of makes sense. And then this one, which is going to be really important, we're going to put the click on the up, uh, one E and up. Uh. Sorry, not the click. These will be our clicks. We're going to put the accent, the chord on the up. Uh. So we're going to go one E and up. Uh. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. Neat. So these are going to be the basis kind of a funk guitar playing, and we're going to flip these all around to, to create a different kind of rhythms and sounds. So, so eventually where we don't, like, when we kind of get to a point where we get good at it, we won't really have to um, think about particular patterns. If we've practiced these enough, just... goes my pick again it's like I don't really play guitar <laughs> I can't hold a pick it's like lesson one when I students ask me how do you hold the pick well obviously I still don't know I've played a long time and I still don't seem to really know ah uh, okay so uh, so the the I'm gonna go for about 12 more minutes here um, here's where I want to go next so that information we just did there really important really big um, basically just taking uh, four sixteenth notes and making them clicks and then experimenting with putting an accent in different places. Uh, you could also do that same thing like practicing like a scale like you know what I maybe won't get into that right now but like if I just took my say my pen or A minor pentatonic box in fifth position I could go click click So in that case, I'm playing the scale, and that I was doing click, click, putting the note on the and. If I put it on the E, that's kind of neat, right?
I got to tell you, I'm, I've done a handful of these live streams, but I still got to say, it's pretty strange. They're they're still still odd to me to be staring at my myself. And I know there's people watching and you're you're commenting and stuff, but um, it's still bizarre. It's still strange. Uh, oh, also starting Skype lessons too, which is going to be fun and exciting. Uh, and if any of you had joined when I had the free offer up, which is now gone. But uh, the winners are, are coming. I didn't forget. I'm sorry. I did not forget. Um, I'm going to give a, a handful of free Skype lessons away. Uh, um, okay. So uh, a couple more things I want to add to what we've been doing. So I want to do what, we, what I started the lesson with, which was I'm just playing a G power chord to an A power chord, two eighth notes, one and, one and. You can either hit it or... Uh, Slide one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and then on beat two, I'm putting the four clicks that we started the 16th notes one and two e and a one and two e and a well, where were we at at 66? You might be kind of slow for this. Two ready go. Two, ready, go. <laughs> so uh, David just said that as a guitar player, it should be second nature to want to stare at yourself, laugh out loud. <laughs> That's pretty funny, David. Yeah, you're right, I guess. Eh? Well, but you know what? I think that was truer when I was younger. I think as I get older, I, I not so much. You know, I notice the, the gray and the, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, it's funny though. <laughs> Okay, uh, so we have one and two E and a. So on beat three, I'm just gonna bar my first finger across strings one and two. It gives me I'm giving an e, an e and an A. So we're kind of establishing this A minor sound, kind of like a one chord jam, which I, I think are really important for exploring sounds, as I did in the in the finger picking live streams and then the finger picking lesson series that I started. Uh, for anybody that watched that, right? Even if you're not really into finger picking, it was doing a very basic finger picking. But what I was doing was exploring different sounds on the low E string by, like, say, like E major versus E minor, or versus uh, I did Dorian, I did Mixolydian. Uh, and that's part of a video series. You'll find that on the channel. Not very far back on the channel. That's fairly recent. Part of this new little kabloom. Uh, let's see. Erica asks, can we do a lesson on sliding chords in the future? I was learning Bringing on the Heart by, Break by Def Leppard, and it has a bit of tricky sliding. Yeah, good tune. I was a huge Def Leppard fan in, in high school. Um, yeah, absolutely, Erica. I'll add that to my list, too. So I have a couple here to add to the list. Behind Blue Eyes and... Yeah, and heartbreak, uh, or or maybe just on sliding chords for sure. I'll just say one thing right now in reference to what we're doing right here. One of the tricks with sliding this chord is to keep, or not this chord, any chord, is to keep the pressure down. So when I slide it, I have to keep that pressure right. If I release the pressure, even just a little bit, my sound goes away. So back to what we have. We have two eighth notes on beat one. A G power chord going to an A power chord. One and, one and. On beat two, we're putting four clickies. So we're just releasing the pressure off the A power chord, and we're going down, up, down, up. One and, two E and up. On beat three, we're hitting E and A barred on our first and second string of that fifth fret. So all together, I have one and, two E and a three. Ready, go. Two, ready, go. Two, ready, go. Two, ready, go. So far, so good. How are we doing with that? Now I can't remember what I played at the beginning of the lesson. Oh, okay. We got to fill in. Oh, wait a second. Oh, then I just filled in uh, the rest of beat three and four with clickies. So since we put this on beat three, 
I'll have another three clickies to end beat three. Up, down, up. And then beat four would be another four. One and two e and a three e and a four e and a. We could throw stuff in there on beat four too. We don't have to keep the clickies. I was just doing that now since we're kind of working on some basic patterns here, right? And clickies. Um, but I do want to. I want to expand on it a little tiny bit more. We only have a few more minutes, and I, unfortunately, I do have to go. Uh, I think I'm, I think, you know, maybe I don't have a live stream. The page is up, but I may have took it anyway. I'll, I'll update that page here this afternoon too. I think I will probably live stream this week on, again, on, this is Wednesday. Uh, probably not tomorrow. If I do tomorrow, it will be later in the day. Pacific Standard Time. So if I do, it would it would be I have a few students. I would wouldn't probably be till five or even six in the evening, which would make it nine Eastern Standard Time. Oh yeah, see that gets rough because it puts it in the middle of the night when we get overseas. Uh, puts it in the morning if we go further enough east. Uh, anyway, we'll see. Okay, um, here's what we're gonna add. So the G to A. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna play the same exercise, but I'm gonna take my G on the fifth fret of that fourth string of my D string, and I'm gonna hammer on the A. Or we can slide. So where where we went the power chord, I could go. Now, there I was playing C to D, 5th fret to 7th fret on my 3rd string, on the uh of beat 4. So you knew how we had this on beat 3, and then we went up, down, up for our clicks. And then in the first variation, I did down, up, down, up for beat 4. Right there, I went down, up, stuck that on the and of 4. One, 4 E and a. Uh. So I had 3 E and a, uh, 4 E and a, uh, 1 E. Sorry, one and two e and a three e and a four e. Now, if you do that on the and to beat four, it's going to be hard to get back to the power chord. That's where I would probably go back there. Uh, let's see, four e and a one e, one and two e and a three e and a four. That works. Anyway, the bottom line here is you can kind of make up anything that you want. The trick is, though, is staying with these groups of four and experimenting with where you put the chord, either, either on one beat one, on the E of beat one. It doesn't have to be beat one. It could be any beat, but where you experiment with, with it on the E or the and or the uh, right? But it's trying to keep them in groups of four. And if you find if you're putting the whole measure together, which would give us 16 16 notes, that's a lot. The head is going to come, probably going to spin. Uh, break it into groups of four, just four notes. Take four notes um, and experiment with where you put that click. So if I just click, one, two, three, four. If I play the chord on beat one, and then three clicks after. Remember, this always goes down, up, down, up. That doesn't change no matter what. Uh, if I put it on the E of the beat, means I start with a click on one, put the pressure down for E, the second 16th note, gives us that. It's got kind of a neat feel. The and would mean two clicks, then the chord, then one more up. And then the last one was three clicks and the chord with an up on the fourth one. One E and up. Unfortunately, I do have to roll. 
uh, as I do have to be somewhere. And um, But fun as always. Oh, Alex just said, I don't know what time it is where you are, but it's 8.30. Uh, BTW really oh by the way really liked the lesson maybe it can improve my rhythm on another brick on the wall another good song I, I love these live streams uh, just even just for the song ideas you guys suggest alone it makes it awesome for me I'll add that one to the list too Alex so I think we have behind blue eyes the Def Leppard heartbreak and another brick in the wall um, awesome uh, yeah thanks David uh, yeah, yeah. Again, musiclearning.com is the site. It's going through some big changes right now because my life is going through some big changes. Uh, for the last six years, I've played three to four nights a week at downtown Vancouver at the Roxy. Been a super fun gig. Uh, been a bit crazy. Uh, it's coming to an end, and 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 for the most part, not for the most, really all around, I'm pretty happy about it. It was fun. I had a blast. Um, but uh, I, I'm ready to. I'm just ready for change and I really want to get back working on the site like I never have before. And that's what's been happening since I found out our time was done there. I've been working like crazy, but there isn't a lot of stuff to see yet with what I've been doing. It's all been happening behind the scenes, um, but it's happening. And just last night was when I finally put one of the new pages up. However, it's a mess right now because now we're in and out of old and new and actually even a second old variation. So it's a bit of a mess, but musiclearning.com, when you click on the lesson link, it will go to the new lesson page, which is the way the whole site is gonna be set up. And part way down that page, not very far down, you'll see live streams and it'll tell you when my next live stream is and then it has a, a button there to click to a page where I'm gonna list the live streams. And you can join the mailing list if you're if you're worried that you'll miss it or you want to know that way too. And there's a whole bunch of other really cool stuff coming there too. So anyway, I'm going to sign off. I want to say thank you so much for being in here again, everybody. It's awesome. I love these live streams. I can't wait to do the next one, which I, I will schedule today. I promise. Um, it's it's either will be Thursday night. Um, Alex, you said it's 8.30 in your time, so you must be like uh, be like London or over there or somewhere, right? Anyway, um, yeah, so if I don't do one Thursday, I will do one Friday for sure. But again, check out that page and you will know when. So again, I want to thank you all for being in here. And Italy, Alex, awesome. <laughs> That's the other cool thing about these live streams is like, everybody's from all over it's so amazing it's such a crazy thing like who would have thought uh, erica said fun little lesson have a good rest of your day thank you erica you're off to get some coffee yes i actually had coffee here and i i let it go cold get cold that's okay it's because when i watched one of the other live streams back and i was drinking coffee i thought i don't actually like the way that looks <laughs> okay anyway thank thank you all for being in here and watching i'll see you in the next live stream uh, musiclearning.com is the site Subscribe if you've not, uh, like if you've not, leave comments, whatever, and uh, you know the deal. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you uh, soon.